stampers welcome to the craft room in today's video I'd like to show you how to make this great masculine happy birthday card using your paper piercing tool and some faux stitching so let's get started we're going to begin with a soft suede card base and I cut this piece to four and a quarter inches by eleven inches and just scored it and folded it in half and let's go ahead and just get all of the paper measurements out of the way you're also going to need a piece of designer series paper and this piece I cut down to five and a quarter by four inches and this Festival of Prints designer series paper stack is in the holiday mini it has 48 sheets of designer series paper four of each design they're double-sided and each of these sheets is four and a half by six and a half so they're really great for your cards and paper crafting projects and I went ahead and chose the last pattern that's in the back that has this on one side and then this print on the other what I love about this is even though this is in the holiday mini that you can use these papers for a lot more than just holiday or Christmas type cards that on one side it might have a more Christmassy pattern and on the other it has a non-traditional pattern so these are great for all year round so we're going to use this piece you're also going to need a piece of Riding Hood red cardstock this piece is two and five eighths by four and an eighth and you're going to need another piece of soft suede cardstock. This piece is two and a half by four inches. Also, when you cut down your designer series paper, you're going to be left with some scraps, and we're going to use a couple of those scrap pieces. You're going to need one piece that is a half inch width by two and one eighth, and you'll also need one that is a half inch in width by one and three quarters. And we're going to end up using the opposite side of that one. And then finally, you're just going to need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And this piece is two and three eighths by three quarter inches. So we're going to begin by doing our faux stitching. So I'm just going to grab this piece of soft suede cardstock along with my stamp and pierce mat this mat is a great foamy surface for doing your piercing we're also going to need our pierce tool so I'm going to grab that and I'm also going to grab this template which comes with the essentials pack of your paper pierce templates and we're just going to go ahead and come in a little bit on the left hand side of this piece so I'm actually going to turn it this way for our purposes in the video and we're just going to line up this top row of holes here just trying to make sure that this piece kind of fits right at the edges of this guide which it does it's that size and then we're just going to quickly go ahead and pierce this top row of holes what's really nice about this guide is that it's a very quick and easy way to do your piercing and get very evenly spaced holes and they're also in a straight line so you don't have to eyeball it which is really nice and then we're going to use either a white gel pen or an acrylic white paint pen to go ahead and connect those little lines and you want to try to get the white also just in the actual hole itself so that it mimics the look of stitching to create that faux stitched look So once your gel pen or acrylic paint pen is dry, we're going to go ahead and begin some stamping. I'm going to be using the Curly Cute stamp set, and actually what I've done with the Happy Birthday stamp, as you'll see, is I actually cut it in half, and that way I can use it together if I want, or I can go ahead and use it separately. So I'm going to be working with it separately, and we're also going to be using our Stampamajig, so I'm going to grab the corner and also the imaging plate and we're going to be using early espresso classic ink so I'm gonna go ahead and just ink up that stamp and then just stamp it here on the imaging sheet and you'll notice that I'm using my stamp and pierce mat as a stamping surface I really like this kind of softer foamy surface it gives a really nice clean stamped image so I'm just coming up toward the top here we're going to be stamping the word happy three different times so I'm starting here at the top and just really eyeballing this kind of centering it from where the 
faux stitching is to the edge of the cardstock. And we're going to go ahead and stamp that once. And you'll see I get a nice, crisp, clean image because I'm stamping on this nice, soft surface. And then we're going to move our happy down just a little bit. Again, lining it up and stamping it one more time. And we're going to do this a third time as well. So setting that in there, stamping, and then we're going to go ahead and do that one more time. So lining it up, bringing in our corner, and stamping it down. So next we're going to bring in our piece of Whisper White cardstock and we're going to stamp the birthday. And I'm actually going to eyeball this and not use the stamp -a jig So again, I'm using the Early Espresso ink. I want to come just a little bit in, about a quarter of an inch in from the edge, the left edge, and then go ahead and stamp down. And then we're just going to take our paper snips and I'm going to cut in from the center and then cut in from each corner to create that little banner look on this end of our stamped birthday. We're also going to do the same thing on this side of the longer piece of designer series paper. So again, just cutting in from the middle and then cutting in from each of the sides to create that little banner end. And finally, on this side, the Riding Hood red side, we're just going to cut a little angle off of the corner to give it a little bit different kind of banner look. And now we're going to go ahead and adhere everything together. So we're going to start with our soft suede base. I always like to use Tombow Mono Multi Glue for doing all of my adhering. I find that it sticks really well and is incredibly economical. And we're just going to center this and press it down. And then we're going to take our piece of faux stitched soft suede. You can see I messed up the back there, um, but that's the great thing about cardstock. It's two-sided, so we're just applying glue to that side. And we're going to adhere it down to our Riding Hood red piece, also centering that. And then we're going to bring in our little banners. So I like this one, the length that it goes off the edge here. That is purposeful. So we're just going to use some glue to adhere that one down under all of the happies. And then next we're going to adhere the little longer banner down right under that. And then finally our last little banner with the other style of designer series paper here toward the bottom. And then we're going to take some dimensionals and place them on the back. And we're going to pop that up in the center of our card. And finally, we're going to add a bitty button that I laced with some Early Espresso Baker's twine. And we're going to just adhere that using a glue dot. Just place the glue dot there and line that up if you want on that edge and press it down. So there you have it, a really fun way to use your paper piercing tool to create some great faux stitching on a masculine style birthday card. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room.